You know when you will get addicted to a certain build. The moment you begin to realize just how easy it is to use and how efficient it is at exactly the same time. With the release of Strand, it has only but amplified wave clearing builds for Warlock and this has become a quick favorite to use. So to start off with, you'll be wanting to acquire the Osteo Striga exotic SMG from the Witch Queen campaign. This SMG fires auto tracking projectiles towards enemies, making it absolutely effortless to use. It can burst poison damage on final blows or even multiple precision shots. And with the catalyst installed, it can actually return ammo to your magazine with poison final blows. Now what we want to do is we want to pair that with the Necrotic Grip Warlock Gauntlet Exotic, and we're going to be amplifying poison procs all over the place, adding more AoE to the build and ramping up damage over time to way new heights. This is where Strand comes in. Now, when we take the Shackle Grenade and we consume it by holding down the grenade button with the aspect called Mind Spun Invocation, it will give you a buff activating Weaver's Trance. This basically means that any final blows from here onwards, when this is activated, will suspend remaining enemies within that area and the results are extremely effective. So looking into the build, we'll start off with the fragments. Continuity for increased debuff durations. Self-explanatory. Thread of generation, because what build doesn't use this honestly? It's just got quicker grenade recharge. Thread of mind, when defeating suspended targets gives back class ability energy. This will be useful for our class mods later on. And since we're going to go with precision shots a lot, I'd recommend the thread of isolation. This will also emit bursts of sever procs, lowering the enemy's damage output. So there are a few other fragments that could go ahead and work as well if you want to switch it up. You could do Thread of Warden for woven mail after picking up Orbs of Power for better survivability. Thread of Wisdom to help create Orbs of Power when killing suspended enemies with precision shots. And even Thread of Transmutation. Now, this could promote some synergy with Thread of Warden whilst having woven mail active. Your final blows create a tangle, which could then also open up your Season 20 artifact mods to come into play. But it's only effective if you're running a strand weapon in the mix. And since Osteo Striga holds our kinetic slot, we'd also have to bring in a strand power weapon. But this isn't ideally something that I would personally run, but the choice is there if you guys are looking to mix it up a little bit and bring a bit more synergy into it if you don't want to run just the Osteo Striga. So as for the armor mods, it's kept quite simple and whatever I don't have on the screen here, you can basically go ahead and fill it in. As for the helmet, kinetic siphons are basically your go-to. You'll be shooting your SNG near enough the entire time. So get some orbs of power whilst you're doing it. Gauntlets, impact induction to me seems to be best in slot here. It helps give your melee something extra to do. The arcane needle melee already unravels targets, making you do more damage to that target. So now you can also get some extra grenade energy back per cast as well. And keep in mind, you do have free melee charges to go ahead and use. So I would personally target elite enemies or bosses to help whittle them down with all of this in mind. As for your body, it's mostly just protection. This one you'll have to continue to change as you face different enemies and different encounters or even modifiers. Up next, we got the legs, probably your most important mods here, in my opinion, because the kinetic weapon surges will amplify your damage output and your poison damage output as well. So if you pop these on and fill them wherever you want afterwards, things like recuperation is actually good for survival whenever you pick up orbs of power, giving you little bursts of health back, or even innovation, which will give you more grenade recharge again whenever you pick up orbs of power. And finally, we got the class mods. Bomber is your best in slot. Let's go ahead and get grenade recharge back. And this is what paired well with the fragment earlier, Thread of Mind, allowing us to cast our class ability rifts more often and also get that grenade recharge back. So there's good synergy between that fragment and these mods. Other mods like Reaper, Time Dilation, or Distribution can also fit well into build here. Please select whatever you think best suits you. But overall, this is a must-try build in my opinion. I have been using it when clearing casual content or even seasonal content. And overall, it's so mind-numbingly good that it's hard to use anything else right now. So if you're looking for a build just to switch off and grind content with, and you're a Warlock main, or you're just using Warlock to go ahead and get your weeklies done, then this is definitely the one that I want you to go ahead and give a look into. Now, I haven't quite used this in Grandmasters just as of yet, but I'm going to go and give it a little look into from this week onwards. Overall, though, this build is solid, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A friendly reminder that if you did, please go and like or share the video with a friend to help support. And if you're new to the channel, please go and hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions, then leave a comment below and I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. But I'm keeping this video as short and sweet as I can. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.